All right. So uh, the last uh, mode of heat transfer is radiation. And so this is significantly different than uh, conduction and coefficient. And it has to do with electromagnetic fields and electromagnetic waves, uh, which is essentially what radiation is. So molecules have internal charge imbalances. So uh, no matter what, uh, oftentimes you're going to have a molecule that's actually asymmetrical, right? And so you're, it's easy to imagine like water uh, is going to have hydrogen, two hydrogens and, a, and an oxygen. And so you're going to have uh, an imbalanced uh, set of protons and electrons. Uh, but even a, in a simpler molecule, you're going to have electrons in different places. Um, well, that's... <laughs> Oh, we'll get into the quantum stuff. But essentially, you're going to have uh, some kind of internal charge imbalance uh, in any molecule. And those molecules are moving. Uh, and so those, uh, uh, those, as those molecules move, the imbalances uh, change. Uh, and we know that a disturbance in a field uh, creates a wave. Uh, and so these disturbances in the magnetic electromagnetic fields around the molecules uh, create electromagnetic waves. So the fact that you have uh, uh, charge imbalances and emotion means that you're constantly having changing electromagnetic fields, which sends out electromagnetic waves, which is radiation. So those waves carry uh, energy uh, away from any molecule that's actually in motion. Uh, so radiation, because of its electromagnetic nature, does not require a medium. In other words, you can't talk about, uh, you don't have to worry about what it's uh, traveling through um, because, well, that's not entirely true, but um, it can move through nothing. Uh, that, that electromagnetic wave doesn't need matter to transfer that thermal energy in the same way that conduction uh, and convection need matter. Uh, and the best example of this, of course, is the sun, right? Where is all of our energy coming from? This giant fire, uh, and <laughs> you know, eight light minutes away, uh, that is traveling through nothing. That radiation is reaching the Earth, despite the fact that there is there aren't molecules in between the sun and the Earth to bang together. Uh, like conduction and convection, we have a rate equation. The crazy thing about this rate equation is that term right there, right? To the fourth. Uh, so that is a huge increase uh, based on temperature. Uh, so something like the sun that is very hot, <laughs> a giant ball of incandescent gas, uh, is going to emit a ton of radiation, while something that is cold or even, you know, what we think of as room temperature is going to have a pretty modest uh, uh, radiation because of that, uh, that term right there. Uh, so here we have the emissive power, which is a term of flux uh, that tells us, okay, this has to do with the surface. We'll look at these terms in a second. Uh, that epsilon is a uh, is a constant, but mostly it has to do with temperature. Always when we talk uh, in conduction and convection, we can use Celsius, uh, but when we deal with radiation, we have to deal with K because it's about how fast those molecules are moving, right? Uh, and that's what K, that's what the Kelvin scale tells us. Um, and so we have to use K. And then, uh, uh, I'm, the emissivity here uh, is a constant, or not a constant rate.
All right. Last thing about radiation, which we'll sort of hit again at the end of the term, uh, is that they don't just emit radiation. I said everything emits radiation, but things receive it too. So you might ask, well, why doesn't everything just slowly cool down as it loses its energy? The reason is, is it's constantly receiving energy uh, from other people. So, uh, you know, as you're sitting at your uh, desk, you're radiating energy out, um, but you're also receiving energy from your classmates, which is, you know, a <laughs> swell idea. Um, we're all, we all depend on each other. So we can talk about uh, emission, but we can also talk about irradiation G. Um, uh, and like emission, uh, different surfaces are going to uh, absorb or reflect that radiation depending on the surface. So like a, a silver coated mirror uh, is going to have a really low um, alpha value here. Uh, which means it's not going to absorb very much energy, right? Or an aluminum foil, something like that. Uh, but a black t-shirt is going to absorb quite a bit of it. Uh, and oftentimes uh, that alpha and that epsilon are similar values. Uh, and so we can simplify our equations to um, the difference between the energy emitted and the energy received is going to have to do with um, this value, if again these two are equal, the Boltzmann constant, and then the difference between the temperature of the object and the temperature of the surroundings. But that 